How's it going people of the world, or rather sick EJ here to bring you another cosplay video and this time I'm going to show you guys how I made my tribal knuckles echidna costume. My video camera wasn't working when I made this costume so unfortunately I'm going to have to use pictures to show you the process. Sorry about that, it's all fixed now. Oh, I also made a knuckles costume in my first year of cosplaying and it was, um, yeah. That's why it was important to me to get this costume right and do the character justice after my last terrible attempt that I made in a hotel room. With that being said, are you all ready to learn how to become the non-chuckling echidna that is Knuckles? Well then, let's get the ball rolling and jump in. Knuckles' character design is pretty simple with only a few iconic bits like his gloves, his shoes and his hair. Other than that, he's just kinda red and spiky. I ended up having a dig into his backstory a little more to help inspire the costume. Knuckles is from a tribe called the Knuckles clan that looks like this, so I combined Knuckles' design with a tribal outfit to get my base design. I also was a little bit cheeky and added emerald shards onto the costume because Knuckles spends most of his time having to collect the master emerald pieces from it getting broken. Putting it all together left me with this design. I didn't know how to draw his headpiece so it kinda went mental. One day I'll get good at drawing one day but yeah there's the base design looking back i realized i ended up changing a lot of it during the making process eh, you live and learn eh this costume for me is pretty simple. It only consisted of boots, a skirt, a top, and a headpiece. Compared to current projects and previous works, I thought I was in for a moderately easy creation process. Since the skirt was something I hadn't made before, I started with that. I templated out all four panels out of paper and then tested them on a dress mannequin to make sure they looked right. Then I transferred the pattern to this red velvet fabric, cut that out, and attached that to a band made from elastic and tested them again on the dress mannequin. I then added a green ribbon trimming around each panel because I wanted to rock a green and red color scheme for Knuckles since he's red and collects green emeralds. I then took a break from the skirt and started on the top. I carved a bra and white fur to create Knuckles' little white spot on his chest, then using the dress mannequin I templated out the bottom section at the top. I covered the mannequin in cling foam and then put duct tape over the mannequin, and then drew the bottom section of the top's design onto the duct tape. I had the bra on top of it to help shape the bottom piece correctly. After that was done I cut out the pattern then transferred it onto EVA foam and then fur. I covered the EVA foam in the red fur fabric and then attached that to the bra by sewing it on. So I ended up with a super cute fluffy top. I then decided I wanted a cape and literally just wrapped velvet fabric around the dress mannequin and cut off the excess that wasn't needed. That left me with most of my base pieces for knuckles and looked really cool. I was stupidly happy with the base of this costume. Next, I needed to get the detailing pieces out the way. I needed a metric buttload of emerald shards for this costume as pretty much everything bar the top had to have them on. I actually stole the original emeralds I had for the first time I made knuckles and drew around those onto EVA foam. I then cut them out and had this beautiful sight. Look at all those shards. Now we need to make them green and attach them to a costume. I just traced the emerald onto some green fabric and enlarged the pattern by a couple of centimeters so they could cover the shards. I then cut those out and glued them onto the EVA shards so we ended up with these. Cute little emerald shards. I then sewed the shards onto the bottom part of the skirt panels and around the hole of the bottom of the cape. The next detail pieces I needed were the knuckles insignias. I used knuckles emblem from Sonic and Knuckles and after drawing it onto paper transferred it to foam and then fabric and then attached the fabric and foam together and put them on the skirt. I actually used a silky fabric and decided it looked really horrible so I transferred the pattern to fur fabric instead and that looked a load better. So then I sewed that on instead. I had to make two different sized insignias, one for the front skirt panel and one for the back of the cape. And then once they were attached, I created eyes for each of them by drawing little eye shapes on white vinyl fabric and then cut out a little black circle from craft foam to make the pupil and then I just sewed those on. Once that was done the skirt was done and I could focus on the headpiece and the cape. I made a tail by drawing the tail pattern onto fur fabric, sewing the two sides together and filling it with teddy bear stuffing. I then attempted to sew it onto the cape with the help of my ever cute little puppy friend Cloud Stripe. Yup, he's sitting exactly where I need to sew. Thanks Cloud. Next I started on the headpiece. I got my old wig I used for knuckles the last time I cosplayed him because god damn it it was getting some use and then I used that as the base of the headpiece. I templated each section on the headpiece onto paper first and pinned it to the wig to check that it looked okay. Once I had all seven sections patterned out, I transferred them to fur fabric. I had to draw each pattern twice on the fabric, flipping each piece after I'd drawn around it once. Then I sewed them together to make tubes and loosely stuffed them with teddy bear stuffing. Then I attached them to a wig with a glue gun and ta-da! I had a knuckles ear kid in the headpiece that was super comfy, warm, and actually looked quite cool. For the shoes, I got a pair of spare black boots from a cosplayer no longer used, spray painted them red, and then attached a yellow a strip of craft foam around each shoe and a thicker strip of EVA foam. Then I painted them the appropriate colours. For the metal bit, I took a square bit of EVA foam and literally did dots of glue to make the screw sections. Then I just spray painted them grey and attached them to the shoe with the glue gun. For the gloves, I got a pair of gloves for the base, then I made triangle sections that would act as knuckles out of foam. I attached them to the glue with a hot glue gun, then covered them in warbler to strengthen them. Then I painted them white. Unfortunately, the gloves didn't last long at the con as the heat made the glue melt and the knuckles fell off and I lost them. But yeah, after that, the costume was finished. I hand 
hand sewed everything on this costume because sewing machines are evil to me. So it took way longer than I expected, but all in all I really like the end result and aside from the gloves breaking, everything else on the costume has held even to this day, even though it's all handmade by me. So there you go, that's how I turned myself into the new porcupine on the block with the buff chest. Ah, knuckles wraps, oh yeah. I listened to so many of you making this costume. Seriously fun and comfortable costume and I totally feel badass in it though. Although I still seriously have no idea where the cape in this costume came from because I just seem to have randomly made a cape. But hey, I had a cape! So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like so I know you want more content like this or let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see more of my finished works, check out my Facebook and if you feel like it, then subscribe to the channel for more cosplay related stuff. If you're a Sonic cosplayer and that, then head over to my Facebook page and send me a link to some of your pictures. I'd love to see your costumes from it. Until next time, peace, love, and positive vibes, EJ.